Sports. Good Sunday morning, friends and neighbors, and welcome to Real Estate Radio with Kelly Warren and Associates. Friends, this is where the Valley's favorite real estate agent comes to tell you everything you need to know about buying or selling your home. Now, here are your hosts this morning, Kelly Warren and Jim Warren. Good morning and welcome to Real Estate Radio with Kelly Warren and Associates, where we talk about real estate right here in the Mahoning Valley. I'm Kelly and I'm in the studio again this morning with my co-host, Handsome Jim. Day. <laughs> what was that? Like jazz hands? I was pausing for the uh, I was posing for the camera. Oh, okay. But Handsome yeah, Jim. Yeah. He's now got dance moves. Y'all just can't see them. <laughs> I was just smiling. With your hands. You know, like so the camera can see me. Okay, fantastic. Jeez, you know. Never mind, I'm done. I'm okay. deleting this video. It's not going Starting anywhere. Starting over. <laughs> um, anyway, so enjoying the summer weather, finally. Uh, finally, the rain is I think it's only passing. rained three days in the last uh, right. seven. So <laughs> It's like a whole break. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, finally. Three days. <laughs> Out of seven, it's still raining. You know what, though? My plants outside are dying, so. That's not the weather's fault. I, That's your fault. I just, I don't know what I do wrong. You're not a plant person. No. You're not I good at it. I need somebody out there with some tips on gardening and our, house plants our to sister email in law, me. Our sister-in-law, Natalie, showed up yesterday, and she didn't even say hi. She said, I have to water your plants. <laughs> Patty at the office does the same thing. Oh. <laughs> I'm helpless. It's so funny. I don't know why we don't, like, we're not good with living creatures. We haven't killed our kids yet. That we know of. I'm just, I'm I'm busy, <laughs> folks. I'm busy selling houses. Who has time to water their house plants? Okay, so anyway, topic today. What I'm thinking is let's go into land contracts. Ooh. Um, I have had recently a good slew of requests of people, you know, um, I'd like to buy a home, but my credit's not where I want it to be. I'd like to buy a home, but I've had some medical issues in the past that mm-hmm. have led to bills. I'd like to buy a home, but dot, dot, dot. Right. Um, so the option that a lot of people turn to is, can I do a rent to own? Can I do a, a long-term lease? Can I do a land contract? And um, so I wanted to run through those different options and what those scenarios look like and how that would work <clears throat> out for um, buyers. So if you're listening and you're thinking about buying a home this year and you think, you know, I'd love to, but maybe my credit's not where I need it to be or any of those situations and you're interested in a land contract or a rent tone, um, we've got you covered. Give us a call at 330-717-2689 and we can point you in the right direction. It's it's still tough. So land contracts are one of those things that people are willing to do when they they also want to move on and go do something. But right now, so, so when the market's bad for right. sellers, they want to move on, but they can't because homes aren't selling? Yes. So typically with the land contracts, in a <coughs> bad market, <coughs> land contracts are up because the sellers need to sell their home to move on to their next place. In a good market, land contracts are down because the sellers have ready, willing, and able buyers. They, they don't need to do the hassle of a land contract. Right. Um, so there's a couple different ways to do a land contract. And even though we're in a good market right now, um, we've come across an extra tool recently, a partnership that we've come up with um, that helps us to do land contracts even in a good market. Yeah. Um, so, okay, let's go into rent to own, lease option, land contract. Okay. Okay. So you're familiar with the differences? Slightly, yes. Okay. <laughs> so, right. so we don't really do land contracts because we we do rentals. So I'm very familiar with rentals mm-hmm. because that's our long term goal is to continue to hold on to the properties and maintain them and take care of them. Yeah. Where like a land contract or a lease to own is different financially, and there's different rules and regulations mm-hmm. that come into play. So Yeah. I feel like I had a good base knowledge of them getting into real estate because my grandfather did do a lot of them. He held those um, mortgages and those notes for people to buy his rental properties. And mm-hmm. if they defaulted, then he got to keep the property and the down payment, and he was in it for that. So. Right. Um, so I feel like I, I had a base knowledge of that stuff, and well, I've dealt with so many of them over the years that... We know what we're doing. Well, and I, when we first started getting into this, I thought that's the route that we wanted to go. Um, But you actually convinced me not to, to just do the rentals. 
well, for us personally, um, we're looking for buy and hold. We're looking for long-term growth, not an immediate turnover. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, let's start with rent to own. Rent to own to me is the old school land contract. It's what I think of when I think of my grandfather. So okay. um, it can be recorded or not recorded. Um, recording being at the courthouse, the deed on record. Um, it would be, you know, I give you some money down. Here's 600 bucks. Here's a thousand bucks. Here's 5,000 bucks. Here's 20,000 bucks. Yeah. Whatever you want here's to be. Money down. Yeah. Right. Um, money down and then a monthly payment. And to me, with the rent to own, although it, you can make your terms different on anything, but I think the key that always comes to my mind is it's open ended. So I will mm-hmm. rent this thing from you until I own it. 30 years from now, I'll be paid off and I will eventually own this house. So I'm renting until I own it. Okay. Um, I don't think of it as having the, the buyout clause or the early close clause. Um, which more of a, a recorded land contract in my mind has. And again, you can negotiate these things any way you want. Everything's up for negotiation. Yeah. Talk um, to your financial planner, talk to your attorney, course, yeah. like best ways talk for to real you, estate agent. For your situation. Right. right. So so, um, so rent to own you you pay six hundred bucks a month, for example, and then um, Twelve hundred bucks a month. Well, depending on the property. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then a hundred dollars of that, three hundred dollars of that, whatever it is, goes towards your equity, your principal in the property, and the rest of it is going to interest to the seller who is acting as the bank, taxes, insurance, those sort of things. Yeah, and and that can all be, again, negotiated. Who pays the taxes? Who pays the insurance? Who pays all of this stuff? And depending on how you set up the transaction, mm-hmm. will determine how that pays and the other cool thing about that is you also can do an amortization over a certain amount of periods Mm -hmm. Um, and that's really what's going to determine what's going to go towards your principal as opposed to what's going to go towards you know profit to the person or company doing the land contract right so i think that's important i think a lot of people think oh well i'll put twenty thousand dollars down and then I'll pay you a thousand dollars a month, and then I'll have this two hundred thousand dollar home paid off in, you know, two hundred months. That is one of the misconceptions. A lot of times when we get a land contract offer, they assume that the full monthly payment that they're paying is going towards paying it off. Well, as a buyer, that's the best thing that could happen for you. You, would, as a buyer, if you get in a contract like that, don't ever get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> because it truly is the best for you as a buyer. Yes, it as a buyer. Yes. absolutely the worst for you as a seller. Right. So, right. And it's not the norm. Normally, that part of that is, money goes towards other That's why things. having an experienced, knowledgeable real estate agent is a benefit to both sides. Sure. Because if you're, if you're a buyer and your agent doesn't understand that, how are they going to teach you to help you get into a good really a good deal like nothing is ever free Mm -hmm. so i've seen bad land contracts on both buyer side and seller side where somebody's been locked into a contract and you know they're trying to move on with their life and things aren't working out and they're having a hard time getting out of it for one reason or another right that that's why it is so important that is why you know once you do find a situation or get yourself in those types of situations make sure it is good for you regardless of which side you're on and that you do address it with again your financial planner or your attorney because that stuff does matter okay good points jim thanks handsome jim see i know some stuff yeah look at him go um (laughs) this is why we just went straight rentals because (laughs) getting into all this stuff and trying to figure it out i know there's more money to be made in that aspect however i don't think it protects me the best long term sure And your goal isn't to get rid of the property right now. Correct. Okay, so land contract, slightly different from rent to own. Land contract is a contract recorded at the courthouse. Generally, with a land contract, there is a closing taking place now. So um, adding you to title and things like that, you're going to have some title fees up front with the closing, where sometimes with the rent to own or lease option, you don't have those things until at the end. Right. Um, So with the land contract on your purchase contract um, or an addendum to or whatever you're starting with, you're going to want to say who is paying for those closing costs, buyer, seller, or splitting them equally. So those kind of things need to be addressed. 
are the taxes and the insurance put into that monthly payment that the buyer's paying or do buyer or even seller remain to pay those separately on their own? So those things all need addressed. Um, what we see with a lot of our land contracts lately is, you know, money down, you're going to put $5,000 down, you're going to pay $1,000 a month while you live here, 200 a month of that is going to go to your principal, your equity in the home, 200 bucks is going to go to your taxes and insurance, you know, um, come up with a breakdown of it. A lot of times for us, the title attorneys do that amortization and breakdown for us. So every month is slightly different. You're earning a little bit more equity each month. Um, And you might amortize that over your 30 years or 15 years, but a lot of times what we see in the land contracts is a balloon payment. So balloon meaning we're going to amortize this over 30 years, but at the end of a four-year period, you're going to take out a loan and you're going to pay me the balance due in full. Um, So they're going to pay the seller the whole balance and close out on it. Uh, So we're seeing a lot of those land contracts lately be done for two, three, four-year periods. If somebody has had a bad credit situation or a change of job or a divorce or whatever's gone on in life that has led you to need a land contract, um, generally two, three, four years get you past a bankruptcy or gets you the time on the job that you need or helps you save up additional funds, whatever you need. Um, So those are the things that we're looking at. with those and the balloon payment makes it easier for the seller that you're not um, holding this for the life of the time that the people live there right. or a 15 or 30 year period, you're closing out on it in a few years. Right. Right. And, and again, that can be beneficial to both parties. Um, I, I've seen one where the guy had a second mortgage on the property that he was land contracting to someone. And when they went to, refinance or do their balloon payment Mm -hmm. um, that guy had to bring twenty thousand dollars to the table to sell his house Mm -hmm. so it's important again on both sides that you understand your financial responsibilities all the way around sure Um, because here here's what could have happened if he didn't bring that twenty thousand dollars to the table you know he he could have been sued for a lot of money and lost a lot more than that because he made a commitment to those buyers certainly that he would produce a clear title at the time of transfer. Mm-hmm. So that, that again, that all does very much matter. It does. Cool. Um, another option that we see is lease option. Okay. Do you know how that works? Jim? I'm waiting for you to tell me. <laughs> I'm just the pretty face here. <laughs> Do your smile again. <laughs> <laughs> These I poor can't. people can't see it. <laughs> Everybody, you can go to our Facebook page. Go to Facebook, Kelly Warren and Associates. Um, what are we in here? Like minute twelve or something? Look for handsome Jim's crazy smile. <laughs> like, oh, geez, this will be posted day after it airs. No, I don't know. We're, we're going to get calls that people are so disappointed that I'm not handsome. Oh, you are handsome. <laughs> not as handsome as handsome Jim. You've got that radio voice. I That's know. all that matters. Handsome Jim. To me, is like, you know, uh, got that long, beautiful hair flowing. Oh. Looks like a Greek god standing there. Oh. Yeah, that's that's what I picture handsome Jim to look like. Okay, and, I think handsome Jim has a crush on Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we just started that show, and there's an Aquaman on there. I don't know him enough yet, but once I get to know his personality, I'm probably all in. We are way off track. Who let us have a radio show? Okay, so lease option, folks. Um, If you're looking to get into one of these, what this is is basically it gives you rent, lease, um, for a one, two, three-year period with the option at the end of said lease to purchase it. Okay. So during that time that you're renting it, you may or may not have a portion of your rental payment being held as principal and equity in the home to use when you do purchase it if you do purchase it. Now, this could be very beneficial to a buyer or an investor or something like that because here's the thing. If we agree on a price today, mm-hmm. it, let, let's just for an example, simple math, $100,000, okay, and inflation happens, Yeah. time happens, and at the end of three years, I have the option to purchase that property for what we agreed on, right. $100,000. But let's say now that property is worth $120,000. Right. You already agreed to sell it to me for $100,000. And say things go the other way and now the property is only worth $90,000. I have the option, so I don't have to buy it. Correct. Yes. So it's actually really good for a buyer. It it is beneficial to a buyer. Um, 
it, it is also beneficial to a seller who's got a property sitting there empty that they don't want to keep waiting on. You know, you Correct. get the, you get a learn, long-term rental out of it. You have a potential sale at the end of it. Exactly. Um, so I, I see some benefit for both people. Um, that can be recorded or non-recorded. That can have different terms. That can be for different lengths of time. Um, but that is a good option. A lot of times we see that, you know, if somebody is um, maybe an executive transferring into the area and they're not sure how long they're going to be staying here or something like right. that. Or they don't know the area well, so if it works out and they like the house and they want to stay in the house, great. But if they find out, you know, I want a different neighborhood or a different school right. district, then they have that option to change. Yeah, I, I see a lot of uh, professionals coming in and out of the hospitals that do that mm -hmm. because they don't know how long they'll be there for. Right. And that kind of stuff changes all the time. Yes, so. yes. Okay, so um, with all of these, land contract, rent own, lease option, um, what happens is the only inventory the only homes available to you are the ones that are available because the sellers say they're available well, right the sellers have to agree to do one of these random programs right correct so um you know you come to me and you say hey i listen to your program i like all those options i want to buy a house land contract um let's go look at some i i saw one down the street from me i want to buy it um, but that seller says, no, this house is not for sale land contract. I only want a traditional sale on it. So what happens with that? Well, <laughs> just like that, there's no agreement. So now you move on. Well, I might have a solution, and I'm going to tell you about it after the break. <laughs> we are do, just that cool today. <laughs> so um, we'll carry on our discussion about land contract and talk about our home picks of the week when we're done with our break here. Um, if you've been tuning in, thanks for listening. Uh, if you're thinking about buying or selling this summer, give us a call at 330-717-2689. Or, as always, you can visit us online at... KellySoldIt.com. That's KellySoldIt.com. We'll be right back. Hey, if you need to sell your home without all the headaches most people experience hey sean hannity here to tell you that after years of buying selling investing millions of dollars in real estate that all real estate agents do not operate the same way now what makes the difference between a home selling fast and for top dollar and one that sits on the market for months and doesn't even sell at all well you have a great american right in your backyard that i trust if i needed to sell my home I'm talking about Kelly Warren with Kelly Warren and Associates Real Estate Solutions. She services the entire Mahoning Valley, attracts hundreds of buyers every week, and sells an average three homes every week. Kelly spends thousands of dollars every month and creates demand for your home, which makes it sell faster and for more money. Don't play games with your home. Call Kelly at 330-717-2689. That's 330-717. 717-2689 or online at kellysoldit.com. That's kellysoldit.com. Welcome back to Real Estate Radio with Kelly Warren and Associates. I'm Kelly Warren, and I'm in the studio right now with my co-host, Handsome Jim. You know, everybody refers to Viking Jim as Viking Jim. Right. So now everybody's going to refer to me as Handsome Jim. Right. We wouldn't want to what's, confuse yourself. What's that say about Viking Jim? Isn't he handsome? He can be making handsome, wow, handsome. Wow, I just put her on the spot. Did you I, see that? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't say he's not. He already had a cool nickname. <laughs> I'm not married to him either, Jim. <laughs> All right. Before, I don't think it's fair if your wife picks your nickname. I think like you picked it. The it's not fair if I pick it either. Like I would have called like you like fancy feel, pants, Warren. Like someone else should pick the nickname. <laughs> you picked it yourself. Okay. Okay. Focus. What's up? Okay. Let's do our home picks of the week, and then we'll oh. get back into real estate. Um, land contracts. Okay. Um, if you are just tuning in and you're hearing any of these properties and you're interested in seeing any of them, you can give us a call or text at 330-717-2689 or online at kellysoldit.com. kellysoldit.com. There we go. Uh, <laughs> also, if you have any real estate related questions, any questions on land contracts or anything in general, you can always send us an email at askkelly at kellysoldit.com. Cool. Okay. You want to go first? Am I going first? Sure. All right. This one is awesome. This is 2333 Painter Road in Salem. Um, this house is amazing. It's four bedrooms, four bathrooms. We need that at our, like mm -hmm. where we live yeah. because there's 12 of us. But this has a lot of bathrooms. It's nice to have a lot of bathrooms. It is. I remember when there <laughs> you was... You said that like that was a revelation. <laughs> <laughs> so this house is listed at 3399 
absolutely stunning. Um, fireplace. I love fireplaces. Okay. Sorry. How much <laughs> land am I on? Hold on. I'm looking it up. About three acres, I believe. Yep. That's that's the perfect amount for me. I'm I'm like a five acre. Like, I don't want too much land because I'll get hurt out there and no one will know I'm out there. You will. And you and would we'll just, just leave, leave you straight. Right. <laughs> right. And you guys would leave me out there. So... <laughs> I, the kids would this be like, what perfect happened amount. to Dad? He never came back from his hike in the woods. Let's not fool anybody. Jim is not the hiking in the woods kind of guy. <laughs> handsome Jim. Right. Handsome Jim is. Okay, carry on. <laughs> tell me more about Painter Road. I'll tell you a little bit about Painter okay. Road. Okay, beautiful. Um, so it, it does have a second floor, although it presents itself as a sprawling ranch. Nice. Um, so you walk in, covered front porch, nice foyer area, large living room, formal dining room, Huge um, family room, giant picture window overlooking the backyard, the acreage, the privacy, the pool, the patio. Um, family room connects to the Eden kitchen, completely updated and remodeled. It's really gorgeous. Kind of reminds me of a restaurant style kitchen. Um, doors from the kitchens out to the back patio and swimming pool area. Um, first floor laundry, bathroom there, and first floor master suite with bathroom. And there's also another first floor room library den office kind of room that could be an additional bedroom if you needed it to see that i'm a den guy i like having a den yes somewhere i could could, somewhere where i can go have a glass of scotch oh my gosh smoke a cigar second floor has a few more bedrooms and bathrooms all the bathrooms updated (laughs) i'm just going to keep talking over him um lots of storage spaces Full basement has the man cave, um, rec room, pool table area, barn doors. Very cool looking. Nice. Um, It also has an unfinished side for your utility area and your workshop area, pool storage, and walk out to the backyard. Um, It has a two-car attached garage and a detached. Do you see that over there? What is that? Um, Um, Is that additional garage outbuilding? Something has three zone heating. Okay. <laughs> I don't see where it says the additional. The garage. additional 48 by 24 barn with steel roof. Um, and all of that's in Perry Township in Salem. Um, great home, home warranty included, central Beautiful. air conditioning, of course, just shy of three acres and uh, 3,100 square feet. Um, so this is at 2333 Painter Road in Salem, 3399. Um, give it a check it out. Uh, you can see all the beautiful pictures online at kellysoldit.com. And if you want to go walk through the house, um, you can have the ever so entertaining handsome Jim give you a private <laughs> tour by calling 330-717-2689. Or kellysoldit.com. Uh, I'm going to move on to another house. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one sounds cool. Like it is even like that barn area. Like if I collect cars, yes, you can do anything you want cool. in there. Okay, so my pick of the week is Forty Eight Skyline Drive in Canfield. Um, hmm. I like this because it's right in the center of town, right by the schools, right off of Forty Six. Easy access to um, you know Austin Town and easy access to the freeways. Um, so I like well, the location. The, that neighborhood is real close to the center of town and with the the green and whatnot it's nice to be able to walk around and yeah. you know take a couple the kids of restaurants for a popping or, up that kind of stuff too yeah um this is listed at 199 um and it is a split level home um and it has four bedrooms two full baths and a heated four car garage um you do not see much of that in this center of canfield area um, so that heated four car garage is a nice bonus. What you say, I'm um, a lot. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, I'm going to change it to, uh, there's a finished basement <laughs> that has an additional bedroom. So that is not included in those four bedrooms. That could be a fifth bedroom option. Um, bonus room laundry was recently updated. This home is in great condition, ready to show, um, sellers are pretty motivated. I say, if you want to be in Canfield schools, if you're looking for a move in ready home, um, this home's only about 30 years old too. It's not the age of most of the homes in that area. What? You you literally said, um, four times since I told you. Did I really? Yeah. I don't even hear it. I I'm going to quit talking. It was so funny. Jim <laughs> can carry on about <laughs> land contracts and all left. of the entertaining. Okay. So what I was going to say before we took the break, and this okay. is like the best part about this. <laughs> We have partnered up with a company who does land contracts. So any home can be a land contract home. 
Did you hear that, folks? How does that even make sense? So we've got a if third I'm a party. seller, how, why would I want to do a land contract? Well, you as a seller are not. You as a seller are getting a cash offer from a qualified buyer with a proof of funds letter. So an investor basically is buying your house. What? They're paying you cash. They're not paying you an investor rate for it. They're paying the going rate on the house. Um, and they're buying. I just said it, didn't I? I'm not going to say nothing. <laughs> um what tell us more <laughs> <laughs> so so our third party investor will buy your house cash so as a seller it's the same thing as selling your house period correct there's no making up terms or figuring out financials. it is a regular conventional sale with a cash bar where there's usually a home inspection sometimes an appraisal uh they will just purchase the home the way that any normal buyer would you don't have to do anything crazy you don't have to sell it for super low you don't have to do the land contract or hold the note or deal with renters or any of that kind of self stuff yourself so what's the what's the catch as a seller no catch. like do they have to have a buyer for my house yes or yes. will they just come buy it no so, so they have to have so someone this, who's interested in it right okay. so this is a land contract program okay. so i'm speaking to all the buyers of the world right now who want to buy a house and haven't been able to get traditionally approved okay um so whatever i said it again Jeez. <laughs> it's funny when you pay attention to it <laughs> So whatever route you uh, would like to purchase the home with, um, you will. I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm leaving him at home next time, folks. Uh, Okay, so you as a buyer, uh, you want to purchase a home. You haven't been approved in the past. I'm going to put you in touch with our third-party company who does pre-approvals for land contracts. They're going to give you a budget. They're going to say, hey, Jim, you're approved. You can buy any house on the market. For a land contract, uh, your monthly payment would be such and such, your down payment would be such and such. So you would know, okay, I'm going to give them two grand down. I'm approved to spend up to $1,200 a month. Um, $1,200 a month translates to $150,000 home. So I'm looking, I want to have my kids in Austintown schools. I'm looking in Austintown. I can look at any house for $125 to $150, and I can pick any one of them that I want. And then this third-party company who's already given me a pre-approval will be the buyer and write the purchase contract and negotiate with the sellers. They'll get the contract done. They'll have a home inspection, which I get to attend. And at the home inspection, I, as the buyer uh, who's doing the land contract, might say, you know what? For my family, this house needs new windows or the radon in the basement needs taken care of. And the third-party company will negotiate with the seller and get that taken care of. And the third-party company will move on and close on the property. And you, as the land contract buyer, will move into the home that they now own and land contract it from them that's, it's crazy that is a really good this program. is my new favorite thing that's awesome so i told everybody in our office go back through all of those buyers who were <laughs> like i want to buy a home that we couldn't get approved so that we can get them approved and get them into any of our properties yeah that's so awesome. folks this is another reason too as sellers if you have been on the market in the past and you've had a bad experience and your house didn't sell and your real estate agent wasn't thinking out of the box Give us a call. We're looking for ways to get our properties sold and get people into them. Even if the buyers haven't been able to be traditionally approved, we can get you a cash offer on your house. Kellysoldit.com. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the beautiful weather in the 4th of July week. If you have any real estate related questions, you can always give us a call or a text at 330-717-2689 or visit us online at kellysoldit.com. If you're thinking about selling your home, call the only agent to trust, Kelly Warren. Kelly guarantees to sell your home or she'll buy it. Call 330-717-2689 or go to kellysoldit.com. Join Kelly for Real Estate Radio every Sunday at 8 on 570 WKBN.